Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to create a really cool, innovative product form, and that is a butter in gel. Let me show you how it's made. So this is the product we're going to be making today. Now one of the great things about this product, as you can see, the butter is suspended in the gel form. We've basically got an emulsion, but it's not held together. One of the great things about this is consumers love to see their product. So you can have encapsulates or you can make this really cool butter in gel. And when it's pumped out, it comes together like a beautiful emulsion and spreads just like a normal cream would. Now I've got some examples here of different colors. You can really mix it up. The materials I'm using today, they're all natural materials, so we've created a very natural butter and gel formula. Now to prepare this, first you need to prepare your water phase. So combine the phase A ingredients, and there is a lot of detail and materials in this formula, so please contact us for the full free formula. We're happy to provide it to you. And then to this, I'm adding my natural colorant. Now I'm using the Nat Pure X Fine from Sensient. Now this goes into both oil and water easily. This particular material is from potato. So it's a really fantastic color and totally natural for your formulations. Now I'm just gonna start by mixing this. We only need to mix slowly. Now remember, this is still totally just water and water soluble ingredients and that preservative which will be held homogeneously when we gel it. We're not gelling yet and this is really important that we don't gel yet because we don't want to make an emulsion from our gelling agent. We actually want to add our butters and let them set in the water phase before we gel them in place. So while that's mixing I'm just going to heat my butters uh, now what I've got here is I've got my butters and some tocopherol and I'm just going to heat these until they melt. Now the propeller stirrer here is really important because when the butters melt I'm going to add them to the water and because the water's cold and the butters will solidify at room temperature the propeller here helps me break it up into droplets. You'll see they reform as buttery flakes in the water phase and then we're going to suspend them using our gelling agent. So the mixing we use in this formula is absolutely crucial. You'll notice how slow the propeller is mixing here. And once we start to add our gel, you'll see I switch to a spatula and you'd use side sweepers in manufacturing. It's also really important that at this stage we check and adjust the pH. We need the pH of our water phase here to suit our actives or preservatives because we really can't adjust it easily later. Now that my butters have totally melted, I can add this into the water phase. And what you'll see is that buttery flakes have formed just from that gentle mixing. While it looks a little odd right now, this is exactly what it should look like and you will still get this finished butter and gel product. Now we create our xanthan slurry. And then I'm just going to add this into this phased out material and the gel will form and suspend these buttery flakes homogeneously. Now it's really important if you're doing this in a larger production vessel, you're only using side sweepers at this point because you don't want to start emulsifying the product and the gelling agent will start to do a bit of that. We just want to hold those flakes in suspension. Now the type of gelling agent you use here is also really, really important. I'm using Curltrol CGT. It's a transparent form of xanthan gum. You don't want regular xanthan gum in this formula. 
because regular cosmetic or food grade xanthan gum will look too opaque. You just won't get this nice clarity to see your buttery flakes. The other thing is that with these finer grades of xanthan gum, you can use more and it doesn't start to feel tacky. We are using a fair bit of xanthan gum in this formula to stabilize our buttery flakes. So we don't want it to feel tacky. And there we go. There is our gelled butter in gel formulation. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos or studied with us, you'll know I'm a big fan of saying method is crucial. And in this case, with making this type of product, it's especially crucial. We need to make sure we're using a propeller stirrer and that needs to then break up those buttery flakes. And then we need to switch to side sweepers so that we don't emulsify our product in the amount of xanthan gum present. A couple of materials that I've used also really important. Uh, I've used some butters that will melt on contact with the skin. So the temperature of the butters I've used is important. You can change them for other butters, but don't use hard waxes. It will feel too waxy on the skin. And if using other butters, make sure they've got similar melting points to the materials I used. And that way the product will pump straight out of the packaging and blend straight onto your skin on application. I've also used a transparent form of xanthan gum. If you don't use a transparent form, it would feel tacky and you won't see these beautiful buttery flakes in the product as easily as you can with my example. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a funky product form and it's a real visual and sensory treat for your consumers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below. Make sure you contact us for that free formula. All the details are provided. And make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.